just when I ranked and compared five mini PCs with the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 chip to find the best one, B-Link sweeps the competition away with the GTR 9 Pro, probably the best mini PC with a 395 chip. Let's see what it has to offer that makes it a cut above the rest, and compare it to both the no longer so furious 5, as well as the computer that clearly inspired the B-Link's design, the Mac Studio. Firstly, the B-Link GTR 9 Pro comes in at $1,985, and you can order it with a 35-day lead time on shipping. The price is just below the standard $2,000 price point for a Max Plus 395 chip mini PC with 128GB of memory and 2TB of storage, so it doesn't have an advantage there. In fact, the Boss Game M5 is still the best value at only $1,700, but if you compare the B-Link to the $2,000 M4 Max Mac Studio, that thing only comes with 32GB of memory, and 512 gigabytes of storage. If you want to go up to 128 gigabytes of memory and two terabytes of storage on the Mac Studio, it'll cost you $4,099. That's more than twice the price. And the storage on the Mac Studio isn't easily upgradable, especially compared to the two M.2 SSD slots you get on the B-Link. So if it's not the price, then what does make the B-Link the best? Firstly, the cooling system, or at least the promise of it. Although they didn't copy the Mac Studio's pricing, they did seem to try to copy its amazing cooling power and silent operation, at least on paper. Beeling claims the cooling system they used allows for sustained peak performance at 140 watts, which is higher than the 120 watt sustain max that the 395 chip offers. Indeed, the other mini PCs only claim 140 watt boost or peak power, but 120 watts sustained. So the Beeling could actually offer greater performance if what they say is true. Just as important, they also claim the cooling system provides essentially silent operation, with some actual numbers ranging from 32 to 37 decibels under load. At first glance, this seems worse than the framework desktop's claimed numbers of 29 decibels to 34 decibels under load. However, manufacturer numbers are hard to compare, since how they were measured can greatly differ. I'm hopeful that B-Link was able to copy what Apple did, since the Mac Studio proved it's possible to put a silent cooling solution into that form factor. But it's also likely the framework desktop can be made quieter due to the larger size and thus bigger cooling system and 120mm fans. However, the framework is 35% larger than the B-Link, and even the Mac Studio is larger than it by 20%. The other big advantage of the B-Link is the networking support. Unlike most of the other mini PCs with 2.5 gigabit Ethernet or the framework with 5 gigabit, the B-Link has 10 gigabit Ethernet similar to the Mac Studio. However, it's actually got two 10 gig ports and not just one Ethernet port like all the rest, making it by far the fastest in networking. Give that like button a press if you're impressed by the dual 10 gig ports like I am. Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 are there for wireless connectivity as well, which beats out the Mac Studio's Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. The rest of the ports on the B-Link GTR 9 Pro are also cream of the crop. You've got an HDMI 2.1, two Type-C USB 4 ports, and a DisplayPort 2.1 port to support up to four displays. The Framework Desktop is the only other offering with a DisplayPort connection, and with two of them at that, but still only supports up to four displays. The Mac Studio wins here with up to five simultaneous displays supported, as long as you don't need a DisplayPort-shaped connector. On the B-Link, you get another two Type-A USB 3.2 ports on the back, and another Type-C USB port on the front, making a total of five USB ports. Two 3.5mm audio jacks, and an SD card reader round out the ports. The B-Link's port setup is very similar to the Framework desktop, equipped with one USB-C port and an SD card reader module in the front, except it trades one of the two DisplayPort connectors for an extra and faster Ethernet port. The M4 Max Mac Studio has eight total USB ports, four of which are Thunderbolt 5, two are 10 gigabit per second USB-C, and two are 5 gigabit per second USB-A. So overall, a few more and faster ports. It's also got an HDMI 2.1 port, a single 10 gigabit Ethernet port, one audio jack, and an SD card reader. All right, so here's why I think the B-Link wins compared to the Framework Desktop, and by extension, the other Max Plus 395 mini PCs, and against the Mac Studio. When it comes to the Mac Studio, it simply cannot compete with any of these mini PCs on price if you want 128 gigabytes of memory and lots of expandable storage space. The M4 Max chip is faster in single core than the Max Plus 395, while it trades blows in multi-core benchmarks, but it can't make up for the enormous price difference. Against the Framework desktop, the B-Link wins on three factors. First is price. The Framework not only costs a bit more in base price than the B-Link, but you also need to shell out extra for storage, windows if you want it, a CPU fan, power cable, front panels, and front port expansion cards, 
making a comparable config about $450 more expensive than the B-Link GTR9 Pro. Second, only the B-Link has 10 gigabit ethernet, and two of them at that. While the framework's 5 gigabit ethernet port is faster than the other mini PCs with only 2.5, it's still a far cry from the B-Link. And finally, I'm currently assuming that the B-Link's cooling system is as powerful and silent as they say it is truly allowing for sustained 140 watt performance while keeping noise down to a level similar to the framework desktop. If it truly is capable of that, then in my opinion, even the Boss Game M5's $300 cheaper price is offset by the B-Link's value. But if the B-Link's cooling system turns out to not live up to the hype, then my previous rankings of the Boss Game M5 for the best value and framework desktop for the most power, flexibility, and silent cooling potential will continue to hold. Let me know what you think of the B-Link GTR 9 Pro. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel for more like it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.